Well, we're continuing to follow the controversy involving Emory Hospital in Midtown. Four labor and delivery nurses have been let go after a video of them mocking maternity patients went viral on the popular media, social media app TikTok. Today, many women are coming forward to share their own experiences at the Midtown location. My ick is when you ask me how much the baby weighs. And it's still and it's still in your hands. This viral TikTok video of nurses at Emory Hospital Midtown mocking maternity patients stirred up emotions, especially among moms who delivered there. I was a bit pissed off. It brought back a lot of memories. Mine was pretty traumatic. Yawande Oke had her first child at Emory Midtown in 2020. Shaina Quinn had her first child there too around the same time. I was like, okay, is it another Emory or is it the one I'm thinking of? And then when it said Atlanta Midtown, I was like, that's the one I gave birth at. And I was like, I don't remember ever having a negative experience. To get a sense of overall patient satisfaction, 11 Alive looked at Emory Healthcare's own patient surveys for its hospitals from September 2021 through February 2022. The bottom three lines here represent Emory's labor and delivery hospitals. The Johns Creek location had the highest rating, while the Decatur location had the lowest. At one point, less than 60% of people said they would definitely recommend it. Less than 70% of patients surveyed indicated they would recommend the Midtown Hospital. The moms we spoke with today were left with very different impressions of it. Attitude-wise, I feel like there wasn't much of a care. I didn't feel like the nurses really took time to talk to you, to explain anything to you. Getting the epidural was also scary, <laughs> so I had another great nurse that helped me through that. Well, we've already told you to push a call light, but every five minutes, your Excuse family me. member coming at the front Excuse desk. Me. Ask Ask Emory for... Healthcare tells 11 Alive the TikTok video was disrespectful and unprofessional and that no patient should feel like they are not being treated with care and respect. Unfortunately, you do get bad employees, but I think it's more so how the organization handles it that determines how they feel about their patients. They definitely opened themselves up to it and this would be a lesson lesson learned for them. 